Okay, Coach Nelson, here we go. First GMAC duels ever in the history of the GMAC, right? Right. And we have five of the six teams are here. Correct. We had some inclement weather in Columbus, and Ohio Valley was unable to make it. But right. this is going to be tough for you guys because I got the three top teams in the tier here would be you guys, Finley, Tiffin, and Lake Erie. Correct. And I am excited about all three of those duels, right? Yeah, I think anytime us three get together, it's a good duel. It's just we like to keep it as a, you know, G Max said, hey, let's do it all in one weekend. Normally we like to have our home dates, you know, so more people can come to see. You know, I don't know how many will come. We'll see what goes on. But, uh, you know, still it should be a great atmosphere. You guys have a similar field house to this at Correct. Finley. And it, these are, this is a nice facility, right. man. Yep. When no. you guys get to come and, you know, put it all together in one weekend, see the competition, what's it like to come here and see everybody in the area and kind of bang it out with your rival Tiffin and, you know, Joey wrestled for you, right? Right. Yep. Joey wrestled for me. I think it's good. I mean, we've always kind of, just because we do have that relationship, We've tried to like make our duel the last duel of the season to try to get some, you know, kind of rivalry going and things like that. And then now with this, you know, they're going to push it to the tournament kind of style, but it's all right. I mean, it'll still be fun. I mean, anytime we get together, it's always a good, good match. One duel for you guys tonight, then? Yes, just one today. Just one for you and who you guys got? We have Alderson Broadhouse. And, uh, but the good thing for us is, like I said, we're about 35 minutes down the road, so. It's not a big deal. So you guys got to like sleep in your own beds. You get to go back tonight. We get to wrestle on our own mat. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so, like, was it a Heidelberg's mat? No, that's our that's mat. your mat? Yeah, Joey came a couple weeks ago, asked if he could borrow it, so we, we loaded it up and brought it over for him. So. Okay, so I look at the sustained success that you've had from the NAIA level into NCAA Division II, and you guys do a lot with a little which is kind of like insane to me what like scholarship limitations and D2 that you guys have as an institution, but how do you do it? It is incredible to me. All Americans year in and year out. I think 2014 I did your, your, your Ben Sargent was national champ. Right. How do you do it, man? You know, we just got to put more time into our kids. We're not going to get that type of athlete that, you know, we just need to polish. You know, I would say there's, there's two types of kids. There's ones you coach, which you have to help, and then there's ones you manage. And the ones you manage, you just got to tweak here and there just a little bit. And we seem to get a lot more kids that we have to coach. So I give credit to our coaching staff and the people that help us out because, you know, we do. We have to put a lot more time into our kids. All right, Northwest Ohio, you know, Tiffin Adinger uh, women's, right? And they're right down the road, 35 minutes away. You know, it's one of your former guys. Wrestling's exploding at the, at the D2 level. Correct. What do you think? This is a sign of the times to come. And could you see you guys adding women's? I don't think at our school right now. I mean, we've added many other women's sports over the last couple of years. So to add wrestling as a women's sport, I, I couldn't see that happening right now. Now, maybe that does change towards the future because, like you said, it is growing. So more people are going to look at that. And when you have a facility already there, you know, it's not like you need another facility. You know, it's just splitting your practice times and changing them like that. How much longer can you do this? You know, you're almost 50 years old. How much longer can you do this? I think I got a couple more years left in me. I have two young girls, so in all honesty, you know, I mean, uh, uh, getting that tuition or mission break or, you know, sending your kids to school is a, is a great honor, you know, that way you can help your kids get to school because school's not getting cheap anymore anywhere you go. So to me, you know, there's also incentive to do a good job here, stay as the head wrestling coach, and then when my daughters get old enough to be maybe able to go to Finley at a discounted rate or go to you know, a sister school. So, All right, let me do the math. How old are they? Eleven. <laughs> oh my God. Just turned eleven and eight. Oh my. I started so late. You are thir you're thirteen years away from probably retiring. Right. Holy smokes. So, you're gonna be at it a long time. You still get on the mat? Yeah, we still roll around and stuff like that. It gets a little tougher and tougher, but uh, you know, we tried. Okay, Joey, one of your understudies, a guy that was made the national finals for you, right? Or all American, right? Three time all American. Three time all American. Joey is one of your guys. You made Joey. You, you recruited him through high school at a place no one's ever even heard of as a wrestling school. Um, how proud are you of Joey? Slash, how much do you want to strangle him as a competitor? I think it goes both ways. You know, you're proud to see. I mean, look at Tony Garros at Defiance. Tony's or, or uh, Joey's over here at Tiffin. You got Ryan Ludwig who's over at Northern Illinois. So you know, when you see a product of yours do something, that always makes you happy. The strangle side, yes. You know, I mean, because you're always being challenged. I mean, I think you're looking at that's their benchmark. 
and eventually you do get caught and things like that and that's fine you know but I mean I like that that gives them you know if I can be the burr in your side so be it all right, I can't wait for that duel with you guys. Is it the last one tomorrow? Yes. Uh, yeah, of, course. So. of course, of course. Yeah. All right. Um, you got anything else for me? Nope, I'm good. Hey, thanks for the time. Appreciate Enjoy the it. defense soap. Yeah, I will. Defend what you've built. Use the wipes. Okay, and good luck to you guys. All right, thanks. Sir.